is the part you didn't hear. This is the part you didn't see. Let's get right into it. All right. We are live. And um, I am on the live. If you are on Instagram, you can't see that I am on the live with Mo3 Melvin Noble as Mo3, his family. Um, and we, we have some people um, clicking on. I just want to talk close, about close it. Close friend. Close friend like family. Y'all his fucking family. Yeah, we are. He looked at us like family. Yeah, because you turned me on to him. So he looked at you. He told me my sister. So all I know is you're his sister. So whatever else, no, nah, we're not going to do that. Y'all his fucking yeah. family. <laughs> like yeah, you said, my mama is like, like his mama. So can't nobody tell y'all who his family is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First, let me send my condolences to all y'all, his biological family, as well as y'all and his children. Okay. Now, everybody know him as Mo3. Who is he to y'all? It's Momo. That's Momo. <laughs> Momo yeah. was so fucking down to earth, y'all. Yeah, he was. Yes. He was. He was so genuine. Like, this is what people don't know. Like, they never seen this side of him. Like, all they know is the rapper Mo3. But he was so genuine and loving. He was yeah. family oriented. He loved family. He just loved to be around people that make him happy. Yeah. Yeah. He just was a goofy spirit. Like, he just liked to have a good time and laugh. Like, that's all he do is smile and laugh, laugh. And talk shit. Then talk shit. The whole time I did his reading, he was so animated. He was so loud. He was laughing so hard. He was like, hey, hey, tell my motherfucking nigga. He already know. I, yeah, that's he, him. he take my pictures. He do all my commercial, my, 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 my photography and everything. Because some, yeah. like the guy who did the pictures that got killed or whatever, he kept showing me Mo sitting on the car without a shirt on with jewelry on like he was taking his picture. And he mm -hmm. said, yeah, he take all my pictures for me and he do like my video shoots or whatever he was telling me. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. This man was so down to earth. His life was so loud. I, and I got to be honest, I didn't know who he was. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When you sent them to me, I didn't he know who he that. was. He told me that. Cause he was like, she act like she didn't want to do the reading for me. I told him I'm a painter. I'm paying some good money to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I thought he was and bullshit. I said, I said, I said, she be booked up like she don't got no opening for February. Like she be booked up. He's like, nah, she need, I, I need my reading today. I Cause he originally today. was booked for Artego. And then when I seen the text, some spirit kept saying, answer that text. Cause girl, I will ignore text in a minute. You hear me? Yeah. So spirit said, answer that text. And then he, I said, uh, he said, I already booked with our table, but I want you. I think I'm talking to a woman. I don't even know I'm talking to a man at this point. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm like, okay. He said, I got 500 for you right now. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, well send it. That's what I, I said. Send it then. And then he said, let me get my kids together. I got to get their breakfast and stuff. When I'm ready, I'll text you. I said, cool. I said, Carl, somebody tell me they about to send me $500. Let's fucking see then. That motherfucker said, yeah. you ready? I said, I'm ready. I said, I said now here's, the, here's my cash app if you're going to send it. This shit said $500. Yeah. I said, mm, okay. <laughs> so I called and he answered. And I said, oh, King, I thought you was a fucking woman. I'm disgusted. He loved the kids. I'm disgusted. He loved the, love the kids for real. Like, he loved kids. Period. Mm. Like, that's the crazy part. Like, it said they took him away from his kids. Like, this. How long have y'all known him? I've been knowing him since 2016. Yeah, we've been on him for a minute. Like, we started out, like, uh, well, my little sister's. They start out, you know, they'd be scoring. He liked to score with shit. So he'd hop up on their page and jump up on their sets. And they'll have, like, a little store, a little roast session and shit. And, like, we just, he started dating my sister or whatever. And we just all started getting closer. He'll, he'll call us over to play Connect Four and shit. You know, he thought he was a king. He could not lose in nothing. He was very competitive. Like, he could not lose in shit. Like, he was good at everything. I was like, nigga, like, what? Let's play Uno. Like, what is you bad at? Like, what can you lose it? Yeah. Like, damn. Like, shit. Like, come on. Let's play something you can't 
Get the Uno cards out. Cause connect folks, that nigga cannot be beat. Still be the Uno. Cannot be beat. That nigga went around the whole house to be everybody. I I lost money to this nigga on connect folks. <laughs> <laughs> like I was thinking about that for a week. I wrote on Facebook. I said I ain't playing no more three of my house for a week. Right. Damn. <laughs> yeah, How's your mama feeling? You said my mom is like his mom. How is she feeling? She said about it. She said she cried. She did cry. I was on the phone with her. She cried. She said because she looked at him like the son. Like she always told him she would write him every day. Like be careful. You know, be safe. Yeah. And he will write him with her and be like, you know, I'm good. I'm always good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she real hurt. Like she is hurt. So before we out. before we clicked in here, I I shared something with y'all. The spirit told me, and I'm gonna share it with the world. For those people who just killed these young men on the expressway, spirit has told me six of y'all will die. Six of you will die. You have set something into play that did not need to be set into play, and I have chills, and you will die. Six of you will. Not by me, so don't think I'm talking about me. I'm telling you what's about to happen now. And it's going to be ugly. It's going to be merciless because you didn't have to do it. And then you're taunting. Six of you will die. Six of you. And the young man, I'm not even going to call your name, sir. But you got on your live on Instagram and said you was on the highway. And you made it and you taunted it. You're one of them. You're one of the six. You are a dead man. And it's not by me. I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you what spirit has said. You have signed your own death warrant. Y'all should have not done this. They already, they started the war for real. This is yeah, a war like, now. Like, even without you even telling me that, giving me confirmation about that, like, it, it's a war. Like, he got too many people out here stepping for him. Like, it's a war. So, yeah. I still wish that it didn't happen. I wish it didn't happen either. I really wish that it didn't happen. Like, I really wish he didn't have to. I hit, like, this cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't wish death on nobody. But I'm At hurt. all. I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. it, it's something like karma is a motherfucker. Let's because see. it didn't have to happen. Right. We talking about a beef about words that went far as fuck that didn't have to. Some childish beef at this. Childish. Nigga, like, he simply like, said you didn't beat nobody. Period. Yeah. And you still ain't did it. You you shooting niggas. You you not even shooting niggas. You got niggas shooting niggas. Yeah. Be that nigga. Yeah, be that nigga. Quit claiming other people work. That you hear me? Work. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah somebody got to suffer. Period. Like just period. I'm so sorry for y'all. I ain't lying. His, that baby, his future was so fucking bright. His grandmother came through on the read and kept saying she's trying to cover and protect him. I said, did you almost yeah. have like a near-death experience? He said, last night, mm -hmm. they shot my car up, leaving my performance. Yeah, Houston. Yeah. He had just got the phone to when he uh, pulled up to my nephew's party, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I just simply am so upset because I really, really feel like he was a genuinely good fucking person. And I've been waiting to plan my my um, Dallas and Houston because I wanted him to be present. I wanted him to do an appearance. And I was going to ask him. And, of course, I was going to offer him another reading. But I wanted to warn him that I kept feeling like what Carlos had said was correct because Carlos told me that he saw him get killed. And I said, no, his grandma said she's going to protect him. She's going to stop it from happening. For three weeks, I kept feeling like I needed to reach out to him. And I, my, in my mind, I'm like, he's so busy. Like, who am I? That's fucking uh, low. He hasn't been, been on his Facebook. So, he, was, he had, his phone had something happen with his phone. So, he hasn't even been on his Facebook. So, if you were reaching out to him, that's probably why he wasn't responding. Because he ain't the type of person. He not the type of I didn't even get to reach out to him until yesterday. I reached out to him on his DM. I seen the picture of him on the plane. I said, where we going? I'm thinking I said something else. But I said to him, I seen the message. I said, where we going, King? LOL. How you been? I didn't get a response because I was going to lead up to this conversation. And it fucking happened today. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with myself. You know? So... 
Like I tell my sister, y'all can't blame y'all self. You know, y'all can't blame y'all self for that. You know, you had no control over it. Even though you saying you didn't have no control over it, she didn't have no control over it. Like, it's just some pussy-ass niggas hating. It's just it. It's just it. Trying to get a nigga back away so they can blow up when their career ain't going to go no fucking work. Y'all don't even know. I think about him all the time because I was so impressed with the person that he was. You feel me? And I just, like I said, I didn't know his music. Carlos hit me to him. Okay, so pause. Like, before you sent them to me, Jackie... Like three weeks prior to that, maybe, maybe three, my sister was like, this motherfucker right here, you ever heard of him? I said, I don't know who he is with his little short ass. I said, I don't know who that is. <laughs> she, she said, it's my nigga right here. I don't know him. She said, but Chris hit me to him. She said, he fire. I'm like, for real? She said, I fuck with him because he, he put Yellow Beezy in his place. He was like checking him or like teasing him or something like this yeah. nigga said he fought all these niggas by himself or something. So I'm like, yeah. oh, for real? So I still didn't know then his music. It wasn't until after I did the reading and um, I, like I said, we was on our way to hum Humboldt. And after I did the reading, then we left Humboldt. Carlos said, let me play his music. He played and I, um, something about the pussy and then something with a G. Yeah. Gangsta love problem. I said... Something about him being in the pussy all day. That's all I know. I really like those three songs. And I said, I can't wait to talk to him and tell him, I know your music now. Because and I, I had heard, I didn't know who the fuck he was. Yeah. But that was my That's shit. Love. He, he got a couple broken love with Kevin Gates. He got some, he got some good songs. Like, if you listen to him, all his songs is good. Like, he was so lyrical. He was so far. Like, he, he was doing shit they not doing. Yeah, he can put shit, he can put shit together. Like, he was just so lyrical. Like, like, like it always amazed me. Like, damn, this nigga go so fucking hard, bro. My brother go hard to the beach. <laughs> like, Harder than a motherfucker, you hear me? These niggas hate. These niggas was hating, bro. Yeah, they had to get him out the way, bro. He was going he was, he was at the, I think he was finna pop. Like, he was really finna pop. Like, this next album, he was finna drop, man. Say. His voice was crack. Yeah. And these niggas is mad. Yeah. And I'm going to keep saying it. Yeah. Because this was stupid. They real mad. Oh, they're going to be even madder. Because six of them are going to go. Six yeah. of them. And I'm going to keep repeating that because spirit showed it to me. Like they showed me in, but I'm going to tell you up front. Six of y'all are dead. Yeah. I'm just telling you. You shouldn't have fucking did it. Yeah, he got a, love, a lot of love out here. And they better know that. Is there anything y'all want the people to know about him? I want to talk. Just that he was just a good I know you kid. fucked up, Queen. Yeah. He loved his kids. He was cool. Like, he wasn't no, was no bougie person. He was down to earth. Yeah. He acted like a regular person. He wasn't stuck up. He loves people. He loves his mama. He loves his family. Like, he loves family. Like, he really loves his mama. Like, for real. Yeah, he loves shit out of her. And it's just, it's unfortunate what's happening. My feelings hurt. And you know what? I'm mad about I'm so mad because I used to always tell myself, like, I ain't finna take no picture with him. He don't think he Hollywood and shit. Nah, you just a regular nigga to me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad. Like, I got a couple of videos, but I do not have no memories. Like, but it ain't nothing but good, like, memories about him, like, that I have. Like, and I'm just so fucked up about this. Like, I'm fucked up about this. But all I can do is, like, look back and laugh because we had some funny ass times together, for real. <laughs> the little time that he came. Like, he was so goofy as fuck. Like, he thought I was the funniest person on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, like I'm gonna miss the fuck out of him, bro. I'm gonna miss him. I just miss. can't even believe it. So, so they asking me, they saying, do I think it's the vibration in the music that's causing so much violence? Yes. I do because it's fucking with people mind and it's causing shit to, to go in different places where they shouldn't go. It's people behind all of this though. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of jealousy that's going on as well. So yeah, it's vibrational pools. It's jealousy. It's ignorance. It's, it's stupid. It's stupidity. And 
people letting this music get to their head, like for real. Like people is really listening to this music and thinking they really living their life when they really ain't even about their life when they on the other end of their barrel. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it does got a lot to do with the music. The music, the music that paper people is making nowadays, man. Even these kids, like these kids, is like being raised off this music, and they walk around here sagging with little play guns and shit. Like, yeah, it all got a lot to do with the music that these people put now. I don't know if he was getting ready to do like some sort of collaboration with somebody because I keep hearing singing, and I know he sings rapped, you know, but I keep hearing like singing. Um, she sang. My sister sang. Oh, okay. That she just showed him. She just showed him her song last night. You know? Oh, he might be trying to come in this motherfucker then, because I was just asking, is he okay? And then they start showing me that. So, um, they shaking their head. They say he's not ready. Is he present? Hey, my three. He's present. Um. He probably been listening this whole time, probably up there laughing like mother. <laughs> he, I keep hearing, I knew it. I knew it. I saw it coming. He told you. Girl, I just it. said that shit yesterday to my cousin. That is so fucking crazy. He said that. He said that. She said how he knew. Like, what did he know? He said he knew they was coming for him. He actually hey. thought that something was going to happen to him last night. Yeah, he felt like that. He had a feeling that he had a feeling. Yeah. He was over there. He should have stayed with me. She said he, he should have stayed. stayed. He should have stayed a little bit longer. He don't even normally leave it really right. Yeah, he's normally, but he was like living. He should have stayed with me. Like, hey, man. I know he fucked up. Somebody just said on this um, Instagram that they saying NBA Youngboy is dead, too. I ain't heard about NBA. I have not heard that shit all day, either. This false information. I ain't heard that. Either. I ain't heard that either. So I don't know. Somebody was gonna do something to him last night. Yeah. Like he keeps saying, I felt it like last night. So I don't know if he felt last night that somebody was gonna do it or if he felt last night something was gonna happen and then this happened. But I keep hearing, I felt last night something was gonna happen. Um. Hey man, he probably said this why he don't want to come in here. Like they said, Quatita, he's not ready. Um, I, I want to know how, like, when, like, when, when can we do it? I'm so fucking pissed. Please, I need to talk to you. Were you just at his house? He was at her house. He was just at your house. I want to understand more than that, though. But did you cook, or was he hungry? Like, what are we talking about? I cooked for him. <laughs> this is him. I made him some nachos. Okay. Yeah. Him, he fucked me up. He fucked us up. Like, he fucked us up. He said he fucked the food up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. He keeps saying I did my job. I just don't feel like I did my fucking job. I don't feel like I did my job. He said I did my job. I don't feel like I did. He I said I was a cool motherfucker, a real motherfucker. Um He said what? this shit is not over. He, we not. He said he we can't not. believe he's on the other side talking to me now. Um, I want to validate because I want to validate something. Let me just validate, Queen. Tell me your name. I don't want to keep. What's your name, Queen? Yeah. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Uh -huh. Is there some sort of joke about his big toe? Yeah. 
Is there some? Is it the toenail on the toe? I don't know. It's toenail. Remember, you like, oh, yeah, they, they said something about it. What, what is that? What is that, Jackie? Tell me what that is. His toe, he needs to, to get his feet done. <laughs> he always wears slippers. So, like, is that something you said to him? Did I ever say something about that? I don't know. Oh, oh, you didn't say it to him, but you said it? I said it. You <laughs> know about it? Why the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to get a spy bath for him to do his toe. She's going to do him a, 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 a girl that is so funny because he keeps showing me a big toe with a long toenail on it that's why i said is it a joke or something about his toes <laughs> you got a long toenail on your toe i got i got false toenail on my toe but it's like white <laughs> i'm weak as fuck because i feel like it's his feet that i'm looking at though so like fat feet Yes, with the like a like the toenail, like a flat, like his toes, like flat, like his toe, his bed was like flat, and like he, his toenails was all chipped up and shit. He used to wear like slides and shit. And I was looking at his feet, like nigga, he needs to get his damn toes up. Okay, understood. I, I told her, I said, next time he try to fell, I'm gonna tie him up. I'm gonna tie him up. <laughs> so this is the validation because I wanted him to validate. Um, that this was him like tell me something that can't nobody else go online and find you feel me for you to have not even said it to him yeah you understand I, I mean, said it to him. he tells me he'll be back to talk but he just wanted people to know that he is okay he'll be back to talk and we gonna talk to him when he's ready yeah. um yeah. queen Jocelyn, do you have like a tattoo on your chest or is there a birthmark on your chest? It is a scar. What's on your chest, queen? Tattoo. Okay. He wanted me to validate so you will know again that this is him. Do you understand? Yeah. Y'all share any children? No. You the girlfriend. Friend, I wouldn't necessarily say girlfriend. We never made that. Us. We never established the relationship. Okay. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you came up in the reading. You came up. Oh, I did. Yeah, you came up in the reading. I don't know you. I didn't know your name. Um, but we talked about the dark skinned one without the baby. So, yeah, you came up in his reading. I'll say. I, I ain't yeah. telling you. <laughs> did he tell you? <laughs> Everything else, but he and Sebel, which I'll talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, he told me that he had feelings for you, but he was trying to make it work with something else or someone. Um, you understand? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know who he was trying to make it work out with. Mm -hmm. But he never said for me. So, say it one more time. And I don't know who he was trying to work it out with, but he never told me he had feelings for me and nothing like that. That's how she loved you. Yeah. Yeah. He told me he loved you. I thought he was just playing. No, he wasn't. You came up in my reading. I'm not bullshitting you. You're the dark, the dark one without the baby. Yeah. He told me he had feelings for you, that he had love for you, but he was trying to make it work with, with, with someone else. Like, I, I think one of the baby mamas or something. He was trying to make, he was going to try to make it work. He said that. So, um... And I don't want to like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what y'all had going on. So she, I'm good. Yeah. I, they were like, I was good. They, they, they had understanding. Yeah. So I want you to know that. Yeah. No, you came up in my fucking reading with him and you're the dark one without the baby. So yeah. He told me he had love for you. Absolutely. That's not a lie. He didn't lie to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't tell him you didn't believe him? Huh? You didn't tell him you didn't believe that he loved you? You said you didn't think... I told him I love him. But you didn't tell him that you thought he was lying. Uh -uh. I know, because he said you didn't tell him that shit. We play so much. We gotta play for 
relationship. Like, we play in the air and joke all the time. I thought he was going to like he always trying to do, like he always being funny. We always playing and laughing and talking. And well, he is stuff. definitely, definitely not. Um, I don't know who the fuck is this? Is. Well, he he definitely um wasn't lying to you. He's a very very um genuine person. You know, uh, you know. Sometimes we think like oh because like they men or because they have some sort of um like following that it couldn't be but he is who he was like i don't i don't i didn't know him very long or very you know what i'm saying but what i knew of him he was a super down to earth cool dude he seemed very genuine as well you know um and i feel like he wanted people to be good or people to be happy but he wanted to be fucked with either you know what i mean so I just wanted y'all to come on and speak about him because I know mass people going to start speaking like they fucking knew him. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted the people who were family for him yeah. to come and speak and, and say how they knew him and who he was. Because a lot of people always try to come for me like, oh, that bitch thinks she knows. Him. Like, I wanted people to understand. I, I actually read for this man and this man was a down to earth real fucking person yeah. with children. And this is fucked Very up. Very that's why he will tell me uh, y'all talked about me. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> he told her that he had business with me. He probably wanted to tell me. Oh, she brought you. He told me everything else, but he didn't tell me that I came up in the ring. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that yeah. is crazy. But you sure did. I came up in the ring. I did it. You said it was it. What you say, Jocelyn? I said I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder if I came up in his ring. Yeah. I'm you like, did. Because when he got the phone, he was so happy. Yes. <laughs> he called me. He was like, I just talked to her, bro. He was just so happy. Yeah, yes. he was happy. He got to talk to Rolly and uh, Bubba. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was a that was really cool. And I, I thank you, Jackie, for turning me on to him, for turning him on to me. And I think it was so serendipitous how everything happened that, you know, um, Artego didn't even read him my reading. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, I was you, I wanted, I wanted you anyway. You know, so that was dope as fuck. So yeah. I'm just happy that I, I was yeah. he was able yeah. to enter my little space of Whenever existence. Say it again. Whenever he ready to talk, whenever he ready to talk, I want to talk. No problem. No problem at all. He okay. He is definitely okay. He okay. Him, I'm not okay. I'm sad. He my friend. I feel like he doesn't want to keep making it heavy because he keeps saying, you said I'm sad, he said, and you got a big head. So it's like I want to keep taking it out of there. You know what I'm saying? Out of the tears. I don't want it to be heavy. He doesn't want it to be like that. He keeps trying to like crack jokes. You know what I'm saying? So he doesn't want it to be heavy. I feel like he can't handle the fact right now that yeah, he's crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I just, I'm going to let him take his time. Um, and then when he's ready, I want him to come back to me. Um, he said he will. Yeah, yeah it's just tell him. Whenever he do come to you, please reach out to us. Yeah. Let me listen, because he's sending the last message. So I'm going to let him send the message. I don't know if he was with a big light-skinned guy or what the who the big light-skinned guy is. He keeps showing me. I want to acknowledge the big light-skinned guy. Who is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about fat. Who is that? One of his home, one of his homeboys that I that I talked to for a minute. Oh. Yeah, he was talking about seven. Was but they was one of them with him? Huh? Was one of them with him? 
don't know who it will. I don't think so. Okay. So then, because um, I see the big light-skinned guy. Like, I just need to acknowledge the big light-skinned guy. And then, not that he's crossed over, but he keeps showing them to me. And I want to acknowledge him, and then he keeps saying, I'm okay. Guy. And he keeps saying the money or all the money or the money. I don't know, but I'm, I'm just going to say it um, and we're going to see what he got to say later on. But I want y'all to hold those two things that I'm saying. Okay. The money okay. and then the big light skin guy, because I don't understand yet. OK, um, but when he's okay. ready, he's going to come back and we're going to do this reading. Okay. Okay. Now, before I let y'all go, to the queen all the way to the back of the bed right there. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Yes. Who is the male that's crossed over connected to you? Yes. Uh, are y'all sisters? Yeah, we are sisters. Because I keep hearing daddy, but I, I feel like I want to separate you from them for some reason. It's probably my big daddy. Who is big daddy? Like grandpa? My big, my, yes, my papa. Oh, okay. So let me understand. He keeps saying congratulations to you. So what did you have? You, what have you completed? What, what's going on? It, it's a lot of stuff going on good in my life right now, but... I don't know. Probably the baby or the job. Oh, okay. Well, he keeps saying to highlight you and tell you congratulations, okay? So, to to all of it. Hey, little pumpkin back there. Um, To all of it. And... So, wait. You just had a baby or are you pregnant now? I'm pregnant. Is this your third? Yes. Okay. He said make it your last. <laughs> <laughs> I am <laughs> Okay So so much love to all three of y'all Okay I feel like I'm missing a sibling Is there another sibling Two Two more Is one a, a male brother, A little brother Oh okay brother. Cause he keep telling me to acknowledge the brother So I wanted to make sure I was right on that Okay So I send so much love Um Tell most People His family His kids That he's okay That, that he sends love to his kids He don't even care about shit else He care about the kids Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. when he's ready, we'll do the we'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I love y'all. So I'm sorry this happened. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Thank, Thank y'all. So I'm back. Wait,